It's so important to be your own best friend. Hello you guys, welcome to a new video. For today's vlog, we're just gonna go out and get myself some Starbucks because it is raining and I honestly was just in like a gloomy mood. Like I barely could even get out of bed this morning because of the rain. Like it just makes me feel so unproductive and so just like bleh. Like it just honestly really unmotivates me and it just gets me a little down. So... We're going to go out for no reason, and we're going to go do a couple of things. We're going to just have a fun time with ourselves. So here's the little comfy fit for the venture today. We got some comfy sweatpants that I thrifted, and this is from Princess Polly, the sweater. And to spice up my outfit, I have some jewelry from En Route, and I would just like to thank them for sponsoring this video because their jewelry is so affordable and cute and very good quality and sustainable sustainable ladies and gentlemen i've said this a million times before but i'm gonna say it again having a literal basic ass outfit comfy basic outfit like this and pairing it with jewelry just completely changes the vibe and literally makes you look so put together i don't know what it is but you can literally be wearing a trash bag and then have like jewelry over it and then people would be like wow that girl's like looks like she has her life together like i swear jewelry makes such a big difference so en route is actually based in new york and their jewelry is super affordable and sustainable ethical and all of that and that is something that i told you guys that i want to start gearing more towards but yeah they literally make the cutest jewelry go click the link in the description and i have a coupon code for you guys where you guys can get some money off so who doesn't love that i'm gonna have the pieces that i'm wearing actually linked down below as well so i'll show you so i kind of went with a pearl theme if you guys couldn't tell because i don't really have that much pearl jewelry and i really wanted to have it you know to spice things up because i just been just wearing like baby basic gold so i got this necklace and it is so freaking cute i love like the black little heart on here and it's just like so cute and it can go with a lot of things and just like spice an outfit up second thing that i got is this ring and what i like about it is it's like one of those like elastic -y things so i can put it on any finger and it's gonna fit which is really nice and i just love the blue detailing and it has a little bit of gold and it's just so beautiful and then here are the two earrings that i got so i actually have two holes in my ears pierced and i always like struggle finding two earrings that go well together but these ones are so cute like i love the little dangly i haven't honestly don't even have one pair of earrings like this and they're so cute and these are kind of like an everyday earring that will go with anything and then just a simple pearl in the back that ties into like my necklace and ring also you guys their packaging is so cute and obviously you can recycle it even the little plastic baggies that they have are biodegradable so everything is super sustainable so yeah if you guys want to up your jewelry game and even maybe match me go click the link in the description and you guys can get some money off ah! no like it literally rains way too much here like i'm not even kidding you if you guys live in the vancouver area you know how much it rains here it literally rains every single day like we don't get a break if i showed you the weather right now there's a rainfall warning right now what kind of city gets a rainfall warning like i can't anyways it's just like in between the months of january and i would say april may in between those months it's like we get rain so much and it can get a little depressing like honestly this is why i'm like trying to treat myself today and just do something for myself because i basically work from home like i'm home like 90 percent of the week i would say and you know what seeing the rain outside and just having to stay inside because of it it doesn't make me feel so good all the time and you know what that's okay but this is why it's important to cater to yourself and to do things for yourself and me not having that many friends and you know it's also gets to me as well and that's why i have to do some fun things and make like make a reason to get out of the house because i would always just kind of stay home and i'll just be like well why would i go out for what but it's like i have to kind of give myself a reason to go out because if you don't if i don't get myself out then i'm literally going to be home all week sitting just looking at the rain and if that is not the most depressing thing you've ever heard, I don't know what is. So, yeah. Basically, I'm saying I want to move to Florida or Hawaii or somewhere tropical where it's sunny 
um, for a lot of the year round, but it's not as easy as it sounds. You can't just move, so it's okay. It's okay. I just want to go on, <laughs> I don't know, I just want, like, I've just been wanting a change of scenery. I don't know what that holds for the future, we'll see, but I was literally, last year, 2020, one, 2021, in like September, I was about to book a one month trip to Hawaii. Me and Joel and Madison were about to go to Hawaii for one month. Like it was this close to happening and then the virus got worse. So everything started shutting down again and like you know how that cycle works. I just like really am craving a change of scenery, but it's okay. Today we're going out, we're doing something for myself and it's gonna be fun, just you guys and me. I love hanging out with you guys because you guys are literally all my best friends. And it honestly, even though I don't have many real life friends, Having, knowing I have you guys is like such a warm hearted feeling that you guys like watch my videos and I appreciate it so much. Like you don't even know, like I, I just love you guys so much. So anyways, on that note, let's get driving. Oh my God, I literally parked my car. I'm not even kidding you. Like this is not a drill. Hold on. Five, five, five. Oh my goodness, I rarely see this angel number. I need to search up what that means. That is a sign. If that is not a sign, I don't know what is a sign. Is this telling me I should move to a tropical destination? Maybe it is. <laughs> So I just went into the grocery store and then I went into Starbucks. I bought myself flowers because you know what? It's such like a rainy day and gloomy day that I needed flowers in my life, in my room and for myself to cheer myself up. Look at how cute they are. They're just yellow and I'm just going to put them in my room. And you know what? That's like the little spicy little things that you can do to treat yourself and make yourself feel, you know, special and cheer yourself up. Like now I'm excited for the flowers, you know what I mean? Just like, it's literally just the little things. But I got a pistachio latte with oat milk for the first time. Like I've never tried their pistachio, pistachio <laughs> latte before. So this is my first time. I haven't tried it yet because I was waiting to turn the camera on. Okay, that's good. But it doesn't scream pistachio to me. Like I can taste a hint of pistachio, but it's not very strong. It kind of just tastes like a regular latte, if you know what I mean. Yeah, like it's, it's good, but it doesn't give me like, it's not pistachio in my face, which is good. So I think I'd give it like a seven out of 10. I really hope that the rain isn't too loud right now and you guys can actually hear me. But I just basically wanted to do a little bit of a moments with Michaela segment because I haven't done one of these in so long, I feel like. And this is like truly what I love doing. I just like sitting and kind of ranting about something that's on my mind or something that I want to tell you guys or whatever it is or realization and I just wanted to tell you guys that it's so important to be your own best friend you can't rely on anybody in your life like you can't 100% rely on your friends you can't 100% rely on your family because if one of those options fails then it's like what do you do you're gonna be lost and yes, it's great to have that support system, but at the same time, it's so important to have a support system within yourself and have that type of relationship with yourself. Be your own best friend, treat yourself like your own best friend. Like it's like saying, going in the mirror and start starting to say negative comments to yourself. Like if you don't feel like you look good and then you look in the mirror and you're like, ew, like pointing out all your flaws about yourself. It's like, would you go to your best friend, look at her or him and be like, by the way, like, this is ugly, that's ugly. Like, you would never, ever do that to your best friend because you value them and you love them and you don't see flaws in them because you love them, right? Like, you wouldn't, and it's also, like, disrespectful. Like, you wouldn't do that. So, think about that to yourself and it's like, don't do that to yourself. Don't be so down on yourself because you wouldn't do that to your best friend. If your best friend was feeling down, what would you do? You would cheer them up. You would do something to cheer them up. You would give them words of encouragement. You have to start doing that to yourself. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's so true. Like building that relationship with yourself where you, where you treat yourself like a best friend is so important. Ever since I graduated high school, honestly, like I don't really have that many friends. Like I've never had many friends, but especially since I graduated high school, I don't really like see friends 
pretty much ever i would say the most i hang out with a friend is once a month maybe like even that besides obviously joel my boyfriend who i see every day but i'm just talking more like friendship wise um just friendship wise like obviously joel is my best friend but it's kind of different when you're in a romantic relationship versus having just like your girlfriends or you know what i mean something aside from that a romantic relationship but yeah i've never really had many friends and it's made me realize that like it's so important to put in the love into yourself put in the effort into yourself to be in love with yourself like i know it sounds conceited but it's so true because if you're not in love with yourself if you're not best friends with yourself then you're not gonna be able to rely on yourself you're gonna be negative to yourself sometimes and it's you're not gonna have the best relationship to yourself but at the end of the day you're all that you have if everything else disappears around you you're gonna be what's left and you have to question that like am i okay with being alone like that like do i do i have that relationship with myself where i can be on my own two feet and be alone and i feel like that's so so important to have and so important to kind of reflect on because it's like me not have having that many friends and that like people that i see all the time it's like it's honestly forced me to think of myself first and to honestly go on a grind like i feel like lately i've just been grinding a lot and this past whole year like 2021 i was grinding like i was doing things for me and not having that many friends around me like also kind of pushed me to do that because it's like i didn't have to rely on anybody else i didn't have to put effort into anything else if that makes sense it's honestly a good feeling like just to be focused on yourself but it can also be like lonely like you can also think of it on the negative side where it's like oh that's lonely or it's good to have a balance and yes it is good to have a balance but at the same time if you never have that relationship with yourself then nothing is going to be balanced i would say 2021 was a year of me literally just like focusing on myself and following my dreams and putting things into action i think i did that because of the relationship that i have with myself because i have so much trust in myself that happened and you know i was always like reassuring myself in positive ways i was always shutting down the negative things i would say to myself and that made me very confident within myself and at the end of the day you're gonna have like i've had friends go come in and out of my life like not many but there's been like a couple i'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason like i feel like that's such an important mentality to have when you go through things in life because it makes you it forces you to pull a lesson out of it rather than just see it as something negative you know and that mentality has helped me so much honestly i think one of the most powerful things i see in someone is when they don't give a shit about anything they're focusing on themselves they're on their grind and that is it like they don't give a shit if they have people around them supporting them they don't care because they have themselves that's the most honestly the most one of the most powerful things that i've like personality traits or whatever i've seen <laughs> off of someone in someone before it's such a, a vibe thing where you're like whoa yeah i encourage you guys to focus on yourselves and create a relationship with yourself be your own best friend because at the end of the day you're only gonna have you you don't know what's gonna happen around you you don't know who's gonna bail on you who's not gonna be your friend in two days in a year um so make sure that you create that relationship with yourself so if anything anything can come at you and you'll be okay because you have that within yourself and you're your own best friend because at the end of the day that's literally all that you have if everything else disappears so yeah I just wanted to get that across i was just like in my mind i was like wow it's, i was just like thinking to myself like it is so important to have a good best friend relationship with yourself like it is so important anyways i think i'm going to drive home now i feel so good like just getting myself out of the house into just like a fresh not a fresh environment because i'm not in a fresh environment but like just like getting out of the house after like working and sitting feels really refreshing even though it's a gloomy day i'm trying to see the positive side you know boost my mood do little things and yeah that's just what i wanted to get off my chest so i hope you guys enjoyed that little moments with michaela i'm going to do more than more often i just haven't done one in a long time but <clears throat> i'm definitely going to be doing more of them because i have so much to say and it's kind of like a video diary to be honest like it really is a video diary time to go home i feel like i took myself on a little date that was really cute so pretty honestly this just adds like a little bit of color you know and freshness like this gives me something alive even though it's raining and gloomy this is like adds the alive factor 
to my room <laughs> you know what i mean it's the little things so cute i love the pale yellow color so we just have like this giant mason jar um we have a couple of these giant ones in my house so i just use it as a little flower vase because it's honestly like perfect size and i just cut the flowers down like a lot like a few inches so that it can fit because this is not like i feel like as tall as a regular vase but since i chopped the ends it works and it looks really cute apparently every single day you're supposed to trim your flowers like a quarter inch i think like trim the bottoms every day and then that helps them last longer so a little pro tip okay so i want to give you guys a little bit of a period update so if you guys um don't want to hear about this then you can skip this portion but i just want to talk about it because it's not shouldn't be something weird to talk about and i want to be really open with you guys and potentially help one of you if you're going through like a similar situation as me or you know anything like that i just want to try and help out and talk about it on my channel i want this to be a safe space for everybody so basically you guys know if you do know if you've watched um a couple of my videos or some videos you know that i have a very 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 bad period pain and it's like unbearable to the point where i literally throw up because my body can't handle pain and it's just literally been getting progressively worse i had an ultrasound done a couple months ago and my doctor called me with the results and she basically said that it's like they didn't detect anything wrong like because i was thinking like i have endometriosis basically she said that the ultrasound was clear so you probably don't have it and i was like okay and then i just kind of didn't know what to do after that so i just had an appointment with a naturopath yesterday and he basically told me that i he's like 99 percent sure so he basically asked me a bunch of questions and everything and he said like you probably have endometriosis because when you get an ultrasound it's very highly unlikely that you can detect endometriosis through an ultrasound because the imaging is so shit for that so basically he said that he's very confident that i have it and so he wants me to get a referral to the pelvic chronic pain clinic i believe it's called um and what they do there is they pretty much like go inside and they analyze everything they basically like rule out what's wrong with you why you're experiencing this pain on your menstrual cycle and they help you and if it's endometriosis they can attempt to surgically remove it um because the only way that you can really get rid of endometriosis completely is through surgery like they have to surgically go in and remove it so it's not like an easy fix the thing is is that clinic takes a year to get into like the wait list is really long so he suggested that in the meantime i should get an iud and that will take away my periods like a hormonal one and that'll take away my periods like completely so i don't have to suffer at least like until i get um potentially can get into the clinic to get an appointment so i don't have to like suffer in between like that's a year away like it's a long time and i'm not willing to suffer hello as i was saying he said that literally like the smallest fraction of a hair like tissue like whatever the endometriosis stuff is it can be so small it could go completely undetectable because it can be that small but it can cause so much pain and he said the pain that you can feel having endometriosis while you're on your period the pain you could feel is equivalent to being stabbed in the abdomen or gunshot how crazy is that like like blowing my mind definitely and like i've always said like it definitely feels like i've been i've been stabbed in my abdomen and that is because like the when you get stabbed or shot whatever the reason why i feel pain is not because of like the knife or whatever it's because of the internal bleeding bleeding that happens and that same kind of bleeding happens when you have endometriosis on your period that can happen so that's why you can feel the same amounts of pain and that's why i feel so much pain is because i definitely have endometriosis but anyways so this is something very serious and he said that a lot of women deal with this and it goes undiagnosed or they feel too embarrassed to talk to a doctor about it because it's such like a tag can be such a taboo thing and i just wanted to talk about it on here in case i can help somebody in case um somebody else is going through this because like i said i want this to be a safe space and i just want to be able to talk about anything and everything on here because this is my channel so if you guys have horrible periods just know that that is not normal and nobody should be sweeping that under the rug because the amount of pain that women can endure through all this shit that they have to go through their periods and all of that like is crazy and i feel like it's just so underrated and doctors can just like wipe it off and be like oh whatever just take some painkillers and that's it like bye but no like this is a real thing like this is a real problem and there is there can be solutions for it you can do something about it so if you guys have horrible pains like that 
then please go and see somebody and go and see somebody until they listen to you and help give you solutions i will put the naturopath that i went to go see i'll put his link down below if you guys want to book a session with him if for whatever reasons but he's really really good and he actually understood the pain that i was going through like i was like wow do you actually understand like i was just so happy that someone finally can like understand and help me so he does do like online sessions if so i'm pretty sure you can like talk to him or from around the world which is really cool but anyways yeah i just wanted to be a voice for people who have terrible period cramps because it is not fun it's something that so many people suffer with and that shouldn't you shouldn't have to suffer with and it should not be swept under the rug because if you can feel pain as severe as getting stabbed in the stomach that is not okay so yeah i just want to get that off my chest and tell you guys because in case any of you are suffering with similar things please get help because you do not have to suffer and i do not want to see anybody suffer so i hope that i can be a voice and let you guys know that you can get help and there are things that you can do so i will be taking you guys along the journey on what i do specifically to help me in case you guys are suffering too i was thinking about this in the shower and i was just kind of thinking like women are so strong what they go through like literally we grow a baby we have to go through a pregnancy we give birth we have a menstrual cycle every month like that shit's crazy and men are labeled as, as like a strong people in society like yes maybe they're they can can be more physically strong but like coming through that like internal strength women all the way women but yeah i just wanted to get that out in case it can help anybody because i love you guys and i want to be a voice literally on the bathroom floor right now because i didn't know where i was to put the camera but to share this with you because i feel like this is a very good idea i got this idea from my cousin natasha because on her tiktok she posted she basically said how she's creating an email account for her daughter and she's like writes letters to her on the email account and then like someday she's gonna let her read all the emails that is such a good idea but for like a journal tactic so i'm literally just about to create a email address and it's going to be just for my journals like i'm gonna journal on there so that it'll like n never disappear it'll always be there and it has like the date attached to everything and honestly with journaling i don't really like writing physically writing because when i journal i like to go ham and writing just doesn't do it for me like my hand starts to hurt because i'm writing so much and it makes me like not want to do it so i realized that i like typing it out so much better and that's like the perfect way to do it. So I'm literally going to create an email just specifically for my journal. And I feel like it's such a good idea. Like I'm just so excited. And in every like um, subject, I'm going to write like what it's about. Like if I'm having a bad day, I'll just be like bad day and then write a couple of keywords of the day. So that if I ever want to go back, I can like, you know. But yeah, I just feel like it's such a good idea. And you guys should do the same. I feel like it's a cool time capsule. Um because I just feel like it's so much m easier than journaling because you can write so much more and it's like quicker and so organized. If you guys want to do it, you should do it with me. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to start this. But yeah, just thought that I'd share. Um, I'm going to end this video because I feel like it's already been so long. But I hope you guys enjoyed and um, thank you to On Root for sponsoring it. Again, if you guys want to like shop the jewelry with my code, the link is in the description. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.